What is up guys, Jack here, and today for you I've got an iOS 8 video talking about the new custom keyboard feature. But anyway, iOS 8 was released to the public a couple of days ago now, and I've been using it for since about a day now. I actually used the beta versions when they released um, about a month or two ago now, so I've got a general good idea of how it works and everything. I held off from putting it permanently under my device, simply because I wasn't too sure if I wanted to lose my jailbreak or not, but I just went ahead and updated, and I'm not too disappointed that some really nice features which aren't being covered hence the couple of videos I'm going to pump out on my channel but this one is going to be iOS 8 custom keyboards are they any good or is it just a gimmick so let's head straight in so if you are unaware you can now have the third party keyboards on your iOS 8 device so similar to what you can have on Android in fact exactly the same as what you can have on Android but we'll just skip over that I'm not looking for an argument you can have the new swipe sort of feature um, or the revolutionary swipe feature where you can swipe across your keyboard and um, and just sort of make words. It uses a the predictive text. I'm using the free version here. I believe it's called Swipey. I'll have all links or uh, all names to all the uh, keyboards I'm having down below. I'll also show you later in the video how to install it. But as you can see, I'm just swiping across the keyboard here, sort of connecting up letters, and then it you predicts what words you want. So this is the free version. As I said it doesn't work amazingly. It's meant to get better with time and sort of learn to how you text. Uh, but this is a paid version, Swipe, and it's 69p. And as you'll see shortly, it actually works a lot better so to install it you literally go into settings general keyboard and then you just go to keyboards and then it, whatever third party keyboard you don't have installed it will go on add new keyboard and then you have the third party section just click on whatever is in there click on the one you want like swipe I clicked on and as you, as you can see it's now enabled so some of them you will have to enable uh, all access and some are okay but just it's very very simple to do so and that's literally how you install a keyboard so as you can see this is the swipe version it's a, a better version of the swipey keyboard I was just using a second ago and let's just type something out here as you can see it picks up the words a lot easier they're not the same sort of thing that I te typed out so it's not a scientific test but I just find that swipe does work a lot better for the short amount of time that I've been using it I've had far less errors than when using the free version so to open up your other keyboards you can literally just swipe up it's for me it's a bit temperamental but maybe it's just me learning how to use and everything definitely comment down below if you found that it works perfectly but I'm thinking there's some slight issues with swipe you can actually use different themes so as you can see here I've got this really nice earth theme these are all kind of installed but I'm not sure if you can be able to download more if they're going to update it but just look how nice that looks very very clean and definitely a customization to your device and something which I really really dig so anyway just to install a keyboard it's very simple go to your app store just scroll down and Apple even have the, um, on the very front page of the app store you can now have your best enhanced apps or enhance your apps go into there you have a keyboard section there's the two keyboards I talked about plus this other one in here the reason I'm not checking this out is it does I don't think it has the swipe feature which is the main reason that I want a custom keyboard but anyway definitely comment down below if this video helped you out or if you are excited for the new custom keyboards that you can have within iOS 8 and if you're running one on your device definitely comment down below I'm gonna continue to try and look through the app store and see some other cool ones and I'll update the description down below with some cool new ones if I find them. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you.